This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Harry Pierre Mosset, CEO of the direct to fan platform Wiseband. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or Developer.MusicGraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT coverage of uh, South by Southwest 2014 and it's a real pleasure to be here with uh, Harry Pierre Mousset, uh, founder and CEO of uh, Wiseband. So hi Harry, thanks, thanks for joining us, how's it going? Hi Andrea. Of course uh, you were here also for the uh, interview with Sounderbox, you yeah. so are involved in that project as well, but uh, now it's time to talk about uh, uh, Wiseband. So what is Wiseband and uh, what's, what's the key to the product? Wiseband is a one-stop platform for artists, labels and, and uh, festivals and um, we are providing them with uh, best tools for direct to fan operations starting with fans acquisitions like forms to get emails free downloads coupons promo codes and then fans management newsletter sendings um, then we're providing them with a digital distribution online platforms like uh, iTunes Spotify Deezer but our, f and our first uh, uh, job, our first uh, skill is a direct to fan sales from stores, e stores, from the artist website or label website, from net networks, social networks, or from partners' websites. So we are building, we're providing them with uh, um, um, e commerce uh, tools to sell CDs, uh, vinyls that are going, uh, doing uh, very well, uh, yeah. at least uh, from uh, uh, last year. Yeah. and merchandising of course and digital too or all the same all, all this at the same time in bundles for example yeah this works very well to uh, to give the best proposal to fans from the artist website for example you sell a t-shirt and uh, you get the album the, the mp3 album at the same time great and so when did it start out it's quite an old project because i've been in this business uh, uh, from uh, 2007 uh, but last year we rebranded the service. Uh, it was uh, formerly known music, and we changed to Wiseband. Uh, so in May 2013, yeah. and we also rebuilt the uh, technical infrastructure that is quite important for us because we host a lot of MP3s and data. Yeah, and uh, so we launched the, we launched Wiseband uh, just one year ago. And, and it's quite a complex uh, undertaking when you're talking about uh, uh, joining all the pieces that you mentioned together. Uh, and so, how did you approach that? And uh, you know, how did you make it a cohesive experience for for the for the users? Um, we've got two kind of users. We've got artists and, and labels, and for them, uh, we've got a, a full um, toolkit with very. Uh, uh, very um, um, precise um, um, specifications and uh, settings. Uh, you can sell, uh, um, uh, name your prices, products or bundles on uh, at any prices with many options. Yeah. So uh, this is a quite complex. And uh, on the other side, we've got uh, d d final consumers, and for them it has to be the, the most the most direct uh, possible with yeah. easy payments way and a f and fluid interfaces to buy directly and, and fast. And so uh, do you host, uh, do you have a, a platform uh, on a, a wise band with all of your projects or is it more of a, uh, you know, the clients that come in like bands and, uh, and labels have uh, an, an embedded uh, version of your site yes. on, on, their own, on their own? Firstly, we, we are embedded, we, we work as a white brand and like a CMS too, we were providing uh, WordPress uh, plugin, etc. Um, but right now we are developing band.fm uh, platform. So some of our uh, artists who, don't, who do not have a website start with a band, uh, band.fm uh, website. So it, it's starting to look as a, a, a platform. And um, yeah. I think in 2 or, or 14 we are going to open a um, band.fm uh, homepage to present our artists and uh, products too. That's great. And so uh, in France, uh, w what is the D2C market like? Uh, is it is it uh, growing uh, and uh, how are consumers because we know you know sales have been languishing a bit in general but how's the D2C uh, going um, it's uh, growing 
Uh, I think it's uh, only uh, music uh, uh, segment that is uh, still uh, growing at a at a two uh, two digits uh, rates, especially for vinyls. Last year was a very big year for vinyls. We're also operating in the UK for our bands like Metronomy or uh, Django Django, yeah. and um, they are they are doing very well in uh, vinyls and of course merchandising too, like this one, which is a. Metronomy tote ah, bag. Right, this yeah. is quite simple, and yeah. um, but you, you can sell them uh, um, quite easily. And uh, oh, tomorrow we are opening the new Metronomy website for oh, love right. letters. Uh, awesome. I mean uh, tonight at uh, 12. So it's a big moment for us. Yeah, that's fantastic. And on the fulfillment front, do you do any fulfillment yourselves? Or we 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 do this. Most of our artists do do this by themselves. Yeah. But for big acts or big labels that do not do not want to. Uh, to, uh, to deal with them, we've got uh, warehouses and we deal with uh, with fulfillment. We make uh, we make the sendings and we deal with a consumer relationship, which is very very important in a D two C market. We're very focused on uh, the best satisfaction of uh, of consumer. Yeah, sure. So always in the name of the artist. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And have you also seen, uh, there's a lot of crowdfunding platforms uh, around, so uh, can you also see those as potential uh, avenues for them to use you as a fulfillment uh, method for, for the campaigns? Yes, we work with uh, some of uh, some of them. Um, often bands start with a, uh, bands that start with a uh, crowdfunding uh, um, follow up with uh, our tools to sell, uh, to sell them. And, but on the side, um, we also do crowdfunding when we sell pre-orders. Yeah. Uh, last last week we we sent uh, 350 copies of uh, Love Letters uh, um, vinyl album that yeah. we sold uh, before. So this is a kind of crowdfunding, and um, I, I very believe in this uh, this way of selling uh, for bands. That's great. And so uh, for the next year, what what is your the thing that's getting you you most excited about you know working on? Um, like I told you, this uh, band.fm uh, 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 website. We also uh, here in Austin to uh, make contacts with uh, US bands that are coming to Europe and want to to develop their uh, direct to, to to fans activities in Europe, including uh, um, ship, shipping and, and uh, fulfillment, and uh, maybe uh, settle in the US if we find some investors. That's uh, also what we are looking for at here at Austin. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, the website is uh, wiseband.com, so make sure you go and check that out. Thanks, Andrea. And thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out more on digitalmusictrends.com.